Welcome everyone to episode one of our new Let's Play. I'm Validar and this is Validar Plays CK3. So we find ourselves as a Varangian veteran of the age of 60 who has spent most of his life in the in the court of the Basilius in the Byzantine Empire. But while there, and while being a very popular member of the guard, being gracious and brave and uh, being a, a blade master and a journaler, and also within 400 points, so this is a legal character for achievements due to most of his age, he was coming in contact with some of the folks in the East, some of these Russians, and one of these women, uh, Verkslava, came to him and being a strong woman and someone that he respected because of her strengths, told him that there was a weakness on the island of Crimea and that he should take some of his friends and claim the island, which is what he did. So launching from the, from the southeastern part of the island, from the empire, he was able to land and very quickly take. So we could see the high chieftain Gavsdi wanting this back because that's who we kind of took it from. Uh, and we'll see what happens. We'll see if he wants it or not. As we play, though, I do want to say that uh, this is a new mic, and I think I have the sound right, but it sounds wrong, or if you have suggestions on making the sound better. Along the way, I will be reading events as they pop up. If they get too repetitive, I may stop. I may mispronounce things. That could happen. Uh, if I do, let me know, and I will try to fix it. If I remember, and if I agree, right? So <laughs> if it's not a big deal, I may just keep going. Who knows? Uh, we should get a lot of events, though, to help with the immersion of this roleplay because we are playing with Viet, which adds a lot of nice events. We're playing with Rice to make the world a little bit more flavorful, and that should add some events. We are, of course, playing with Cities of One or Three, my mod. And this mod specifically, what we're going to be looking at is because we've taken this little piece of land, and it's Suderland or the Southland, we are trying to create a stronghold. A We don't want to blob. We're not going to be blobbing. We're building a stronghold for the Norse and the South. And both of these uh, provinces that we control are tribal. So we will be trying to establish ourselves as a Jarl, and we are going to be building these lands up. We are going to be trying to get the tribal four because... As a tribal four, if we meet these requirements of having high stewardship and that, and it also costs a lot of money in prestige, by the way, if we can get this, then we will automatically become feudal and have castles, but be able to retain our uh, as a true faith uh, without having to go and try to get a bunch of uh, the holy sites, which we always know is difficult. So. With that in mind, we're going to be playing uh, a a tall game, and we're going to be trying to become feudal through CK3 or through the Cities of Order Three mechanics, uh, also known as Cal Three. I know some call it Cal Three. So, with those mechanics, once we become feudal, we will be able to build our uh, level five castle or a burge using special mechanics as well. And then once we have that burge using even further Cal Three mechanics, we will be able to establish ourselves as a all right, so without uh, much further ado, we can kind of look around a little bit. All of our council is filled out. These folks, while not being amazing across the board, are all Varangians because that's who followed us out of the port. We also have uh, a pretty good slot, really good slot, of champions, which makes sense because, you know, they are all Varangians, so that helps us. And we have our 300 Varangian veterans. So we are pretty strong out of the gate, but because of who we're sandwiched between, right? We have the Abbasids, the Tahirids, the Zarya, the Byzantine Empire, Bulgaria. We are surrounded by some very powerful people. Kind of need that. So we'll see how that works out. But right off the bat, we do have a scheme going against our wife uh, to suit kids because we are old. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to start raiding right off right off the gate. So we have our 656 raiders. We're going to be leading with our 43 battle advantage and our cautious leader. And let's go ahead 
and right off the bat just land up here. So this guy's pretty strong with 1200. I think it's going to be fine though. So we're going to start on speed five just because we don't got a lot going on. Land and he is, he should, oh, and this is exactly what I thought was going to happen. So he is going to try to come and attack us, um, which we're not going to be playing a tangle here. So that is from the historic invasions mod, which we're not going ever playing as someone else. So we'll see what happens. All right, let's slow, slow down a bit. So our physician and concubine is right now. Fine. He is, let's go ahead and attack him. Says that we will probably win. Uh, he has recently disembarked. How long has he disembarked? I think that's gonna. Let's just see. No, uh, he's still disembarked. Okay, so I also have the bigger, uh, or the bigger battle mod screen just to help us see some, uh, just a little bit more immersion. I like it. So our Vrangian veterans are doing less damage, but because of how strong our knights are, especially how strong we are, which I do want to go ahead and show you that. Because I'm older, right, I start with a bunch of this filled in strategist. I'm going down gallant. So we do have really strong knights. That's going to be helping us a lot. And then, of course, our Vrangian veterans. We're going to go ahead and we're going to win this pretty decisively. Let's see if we get a stack wipe. Did not get a stack wipe. That's okay. Um, let's go ahead and let's follow him and get that stack wipe because we can. That will be useful. Um, there's not a lot going on, so we're going to play on speed five. Uh, and he is. Um, I have no idea where this guy's going. Okay, well, let's go back to our own lands. <laughs> I don't know where he's going. Oh, I got a son. Very good. So let's go and see our son. We made it there first. Are we recently disembarked? Still gonna win. Is just that awesome. Uh, so our son, unfortunately, because his mother is our heir and son. That is unfortunate. Um, let's give him a martial education just to see what happens. Oh. I don't know why this is automatically not <laughs> when I say educate child why it doesn't immediately make me educating my son but all right so go ahead and force and already you saw made a very weird mistake but that's okay um, I disbanded before I, or not a great idea so I can't get this yet because I'm quite a bit off you know, our military to load. But we can go ahead and build market, some horse herds, station cavalry, markets. You need gold. Military is pretty good, but war camps is really nice. Okay, so our station, these guys, they're already stationed. They are, of course, heavy infantry. So let's go ahead and just to get damage. Not bad. We're gonna be fine on gold, I think. So let's go ahead and do the war camps. Go ahead and let our military rebuild a little bit. Okay, so a novel challenge. All I'm saying, Chieftain Half Thor, is that these are fun event without hunting. It should shouldn't be so unusual to ski for the joy of it, not just the utility drones, Hawkred. I feel like I've been in this conversation my entire life. The man's obsessed. We should give it a try now, while the snow is thick and fresh. They're still not too far from here. I bet I can reach the bottom for you, and we'll both have a great time. So I can accept and maybe friend gets prestige or lose prestige. I don't really have prestige. There's not a lot I can do here. Um, I guess I'll accept. And I got prestige. Okay, so I, I went skiing. We're becoming friends. That's great. All right, so he is robust. Good. Um, unfortunately, my firstborn and my heir is him. Uh, so I am going to do Scandinavian elective. 
because I do think that with him being a Varangian and how he's he's not going to be ruling by firstborn, right? He's going to be ruling by who he thinks. He is. But we are going to be adding the Scandinavian elective, even though we're going to be doing a single duchy, so it won't necessarily help us keep all our land. It'll still be important for us. So let's go ahead and rebuild our military so that we can keep raiding. That's going to be very important for us is to raid like crazy. Um, and again, we are at 600. He's at 710. He is a perfect rating target. We're going to be speeding through this pretty quickly on speed five because, again, in the beginning of the game like this, until we kind of get going, there's just not a lot going on. Um, so a lonely dog. This event will happen a lot, so I'm going to read it this time and in the future probably be speeding it. Flame and scream surround me in Guria as my army plunders for valuable goods and prisons. The acrid stench of burning flesh fills the air, and I feel a beautiful cocktail of blood and dirt drying on my face. Then I see among the wreckage a small doll cast aside in the dirt. I feel compelled to look at it. Its small button eyes and hand-stitched smile remind me of the end waiting for me back home. Even caked in mud, its soft hair feels so delicate in my hand, I can't help but think that this is a perfect gift for one of the children. So we're going to be giving this to uh, Huffled or four? Maybe that's how you say it. All right, so I'm going to slow this down a little bit. And just to show you the strength again, I'm fighting and countering pikemen. I'm fighting in my favorable, uh, favorable terrain. I've got my knights. Like, this is just not even not even really an issue. Um, we are, one of the things we're going to make sure that we do is, he's a competent fighter, but I don't want to spend that money. We're going to make sure, unmarried, that our all of our folks stay married. We're going to say unmarried, adult, and let's look at all the guys first. All right, so find spouse, um, and we're going to do age. We do want young adult. Um, all right, so... Because he, he might leave court. He is a champion, so he shouldn't leave court because he is a champion. All right, and the biggest reason why we do this is to make sure, you know, we're quite a bit away, away from other Norse, and I want to make sure that we get plenty of Norsemen in our area. So we're going to have to, that means we're going to have to be creating those North, Norsemen ourselves, right? Um... So we're going to have to really make sure that we keep our children going. This is, I really like this guy, Wolfinden. He is a berserking Varangian dwarf. Uh, he is very powerful and very strong, so hopefully we can get him children going. At the end of the day, like I said, I just really want to make sure that all of our champions and all of our Norsemen are continuously getting us new children. Uh, that'll also be important just in general for our uh, heirs when they come along so that they can have children to interact with because we barely have a lot of friends around. Um, so now let's switch. And the only one I have is my woman. That's good. So back to the males. All right. Um, fine here. Let's keep making some money. Speed this up. Spammed with all of these acceptances, but that's okay. Oh, going. I think I wiped his out. Yeah, he's not going to be anytime soon. Should be able to get all the gold we want. Five, three, four. This. Great. So that's sixty-five. Again, the doll is back. All right, get back to Sudaland. Again, we are also trying to increase the control, convert faith and the culture. One of the biggest reasons we're doing that here is because I don't really want to create a hybrid culture. Uh, Kazaria, the area. As are, they just don't have anything we don't have, but the Greeks do. So this is something we're going to look at. Maybe as he gets weaker or we get stronger, we'll eventually. We are also going to want this duchy sooner rather than later. 
we need 125 for that, which we are almost at. So, how are we looking? We're almost full strength. Go ahead and get back to full strength. And then, okay, we're back to full strength. Uh, to the blathering chieftain Hafthor, I have been corresponding with your chancellor, Argamir, and it has been a shameful diplomatic discipline. That's no good. Um, he's strong and for me. Let's. You could always swear filthy, but I don't want to do that. Um, his son. I don't have a daughter yet, right? I just have. Ugh. Well, hopefully he doesn't invade us. Um, I don't really know what else to do there. Let's go ahead and raise his raiders and go do this whole thing. And this time is all kind of out. Capital, and he's. I think what we'll we'll go ahead and land down here. He comes and fights us. So oh, the butterfly, a butterfly landed on my arm. It looks so harmless, just fluttering its wings, unaware of my existence. I'll wait until it flies away. I gain some prestige. Take it off. I gain some prestige. Smash and kill it. Um, I I don't kill it. I mean, prestige. Uh, raid or trade? My troops and I prepared to sack the lands of a camps. Our first, our first scouts report back. It seems the local towns are rich, but many are heavily fortified. We, we could well be caught off, uh, caught out by vengeful armies before. We... All is not lost. The art of good raiding is all an exploiting opportunity, and we could perhaps earn trade and tribute in exchange for saving our. Blood. So maybe, Inable. He has to agree to this though, and we're not doing that. We, we will be sacking. Everything. Um, a little doll, so we'll give Flossy again. This is not even. Look at that. That is. We are just destroying them. Alright, so. Isn't uprising. Don't worry about that. We'll come down here. Gold. Keen. Alright, and then. Nine. So again, this is early game. There's not, there's not going to be a ton to do. I'll try to keep you entertained as much as possible. Unless you're just watching me raid. Uh, as time goes on and we really get to building, we'll we'll have a lot more. But in the beginning, it's a lot more difficult because there's not not really as much. So let's get peacemaker. That's going to help us in the future, in case people attack us, that we can get that knocked down. All right. Go ahead and get this gold. Oh, well, we are all filled up, so let's go back. And our son got bossy, which is martial and stewardship, so that's good. And we are educating second son. We are educating him as well, and he hasn't got anything. Alright, so we need to go back gold. It looks like hack us, but low. And this military down let it regrow we st i don't can still get the oh we can once we go ahead and create the duchy let's go ahead and go to our crest and copy that and then go back to duchy we're gonna pick, we're gonna make the same and then we're also going to uh, suit. So, just to keep all of this, all of this the same. All right. So, blend and blend. All right. Nice. And now we're blue. All right. So now we kind of stand out. That's good. Go back up to. Military, we need that to rebuild. Have our foreign grounds being all right to the so now he's coming. He wants our son. I'm not giving him our son. I'm sorry. Like we don't know him. That's not gonna happen. Yeah, he could go to war for us. Yeah, he's very strong. I just I'm not gonna do. It. Now if he wants to exchange. I can't even exchange, right? Because he has no hostage. 
That's may just be because I'm too weak, but I mean, I, I just not gonna do that. Like, send our heir to just some random guy who's probably gonna kill him. <laughs> that seems like a bad idea, right? So let's go ahead and raise all raiders. Um, go back out and make. So we still have these guys who really aren't any stronger than they were. So we're gonna go ahead and just keep doing what we were doing. Hit the hit the town first. Coming for a fight. All right, fire and blood. The settlement of Arthranuji, an important stronghold in Greater Largeti, has fallen to my raiders. We have the run of vast tracts of land and many of the quivering subjects, shining treasures of Prince Tornik to keep troops stand ready, awaiting my command to give them direct capture. Sk skilled slaves. That's gonna. Uh, Hurt their province, and it's going to increase our development. We can gain add 30 loot and gain 75 prestige. Yeah, let's do that. And look at that. I mean, golly, just wipe them out. Um, and then let's go ahead and go up here, get a little bit more loot, and we are now maxed out here. Again, we're going to stand down and we're going to let our Grangian veterans rebuild. Let's go ahead and... So he did get rowdy and he's robust. But we definitely want him to be our main heir. So let's go ahead and go to our duchy and add Scandinavian, Scandinavian elected, elective so that we can vote for our stronger side. We're going to go to Dechi, election, and he is now our main heir, and Jarldum, and he's going to take my main... Unfortunately, he will take the, the little strain, but, you know, he's not my, my, not my heir, yet he's get Chieftain of Suderland, even though it's my capital. I guess it's because I don't have the actual duchy capital that it's going to split like that. I'll retake it, but I will make it, make sure I go ahead and build this up so that I don't find myself to take it back. Um, that's going to be a problem, but we don't want that to become right where we're too weak to take it back off our brother. So... Go ahead and re raise our raiders because this is <laughs> a little repetitive, but I mean, th this is where we're at, right? This is where we're at so far in, in our playthrough and what we can do. So um, we're just going to be raiding and and causing destruction in the south, and no one knows what they're doing or how to get away from us. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get Gallant. That's going to help us a little bit more. And I haven't been looking. Oh, I don't have a wet nurse. I have a wet nurse. Have a tutor. Need all of these things, right? These are going to be really important. We do have. Can't sell any of these people. Um, they're really great. I, in situations like this, we're just going to. She's got a twenty in learning. That's not bad. Let's and her conversion and. Uh, not great at anything. So we we'll just and her. Conversion way and she's okay but again demand the alright so these guys are doing fine let's keep coming of course one of the things that I saw is how weak these guys are let's get back to that what the map is. The map. My spies have informed me about a hunter causing a ruckus at the local tavern. The man is spending a large amount of gold and bragging loudly about the great deal he struck with a fancy lady in pearl silk. Apparently he drew a map of the local hills for an unknown noblewoman. The spy thinks that lady may be scheming against me. One of my sons. Uh, I mean, yeah, we're wrathful, so I don't really care about this guy. He's a random dude, so belongs in my dungeon. Go ahead and execute him. 
mean, he's an orthodox, and he's doing a lot of dumb stuff, so... Sorry, buddy. Um... We should win this decisively. Let's see what happens. Yeah, look at that. Just wiping them out. They just cannot hang with especially my knights. They just... They just got no no options. Scheme at court. My spy master's come to me with grave news. Well, we do not yet know who. Someone is plotting to kill my chancellor. That's not any good. Uh, let's make sure he's on... He's on disrupt scheme. Kill our bet, right? Um, we actually have a better one. We have a 16. He likes us too. Let's go ahead and fire him. Get her... I mean, she is stronger, right? So that is important. We don't have to worry about... We can just keep the best people in these positions. We do lose him, and he is 20. We have such good knights that that's fine. Um, it's really important to have the best people. He's 21, but you know what? He has served me well. We're gonna get him. We're gonna get him in onto the council. Uh, and put my woman under here. So, okay. So let's go ahead and let's do some more rating. So this is fire and blood. Uh, we've read this before. We're just gonna every time we're gonna do plunder. Right, get that gold. And oh, we've got a rival now. It's got a rival. I mean, I don't challenge. He will. He will. He will accept it. He has five. <laughs> that is dumb on his part. All right. So the Rangian will do the strike. And famous we'll strike again. Yeah. So we beat him. So we. He gains the trait severely injured. I gained four traits in my aspiring blade master, um, which is nice. That gets me a little bit towards on the trait path, right? I've never really leveled these things up, so that might be interesting. All right, I am victorious. That's great. Uh, I will relax in the morning before my official again. So an early bird. By chance, I woke up earlier than I usually do today. And can't go back to sleep. I have some important decisions, uh, important documents to review that I could get a head start on. But on the other hand, why should I have to worry about that? I need to be responsible and start working. I need to be responsible and start working. I get some piety or I lose stress. I don't have any stress, so let's get that piety. Fine with me. Don't have a ton, right? So, um, where our military is. Again, go ahead and let them... Hill. We have some gold now. Let's go to... So we do need to build this tribal hold up. But realistically, you know, I need to build other stuff up first because I just have a lot going on. So let's go ahead and... Our military. What is our... Create another Varangian. And station them there. All right, that's fine. And let's can't build any 94. Yep, using up all my prestige. Kind of expected that to happen, but that's fine. So prestige is going to go down as these folks are uh, filling up. So we'll wait a second for that. My spy master has come to me with grave news. It's my champion Alexander that's plotting against my champion Argrimmer. Well, that's really unfortunate. I really wish that they were friends. Wouldn't be doing that crap, but uh, I smell a smell. What's that smell? I say, pinch my nose. Nearby neighbor bows at me respectfully, before telling me in a confused tone, "There is no smell, my lord." Frustrated, I seek Rivercker in the next room and I invite him over. However, he doesn't get odor either. Is there? Some Maybe I need some rest. Uh, so I'm gonna gain stress either way because I'm gregarious and I'm wrathful, and then I'm gonna get smell. They're literally the same thing. But I'm going to rest. That's what I'm going to do. Um, and I'm not, I haven't quite refilled yet. I'm just going to be even stronger now because of having 400 of these Varangians. So that's going to be great. At the end of the field exercise, it had seemed a brilliant idea to practice regrouping an army in disarray. So I my troops and ordered every officer to independently make their way to Kalos Lemon. Of course, by the third day of waiting, with only half of my army in place, I am now seeing flaws in the plan. 
Bryn Holfer suggests I ride out with a contingent of champions to find the missing troops, while the rest of the army return returns home. Let's see, so this will be an exciting search. I might gain a martial lifestyle, or uh, he gets to Let's try to get the lifestyle perk. Approaching a lagoon, I spot a camp pitched on its shores. As I enter it, I am met by the Sergeant Charge. My lord, our water stores leaked while on the move, and our pack animals cannot make the march home without more water than we have. The soldier looks at me now. If the lord and his champions helped carry water skin, uh, if it's on the way, I spend 75 prestige. I don't do that. I gain desertion. Or you abandon your search return. Uh, I mean... 10% less levies don't really... I'm not using a lot of levies. A plush, <laughs> vibrant, and soft rise of gift from Prince Tornik. Okay, so he's trying to kill me. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be doing that, bro. Uh, that's hilarious. This dude's... <laughs> see if we can't even murder him. We're just going to have to be careful because he is trying to murder us. Um, but that's fine. I mean, it's not really fine because my son is not young. So she's 40. She's 31. I might have more kids, but I kind of doubt it. Um, let's try to romance her. That might get us another baby. So she is brave, temperate, diligent. Press her by winning a sparring match. Okay. So, I recruit one of my most senior soldiers, practice with him for three days straight. Once he's ready, we get together. Uh, as we begin to spar, a crowd gathers in the church. They're all none other than the fearless Haichitas Verklava. Soldiers, the soldier fights valiantly, but I disarm him with a final flawless thrust. I kneel before Verklava and declare my noble intentions. I dedicate this victory to you, High Chief. Bring, bring your honor is my only... Bring you honor. My, tre my treasure is speechless, but clearly flattered. Why else would you... All right, so that's good. Um, that's 100%. Shouldn't be. Let's get the... On the march is still coming back. Okay, so when my outriders brought news of the little decayment, I did not expect to find the soldiers all still practicing their battle formation. It seems that my champion, Odrolfer, took it upon himself to continue the field exercises while waiting for word from the main army. His troops line up neatly as I ride up to meet them. Uh, those were not the orders I gave you. I mean, I don't know rude bro i mean come on like he did good um you gain overworked soldiers better soldier i've been drilled to the point of exhaustion or take them in home i'm tired of certain uh i don't want to i don't want to lose my battle advantage now i'd push them harder let's be honest so, the last of my troops have made it back to Kalos Lemon, and order has been restored. Though this was hardly a display of military brilliance, I have gained a new perspective on my army and the individual Great, so I got, I did get a martial lifestyle. That is great. Go ahead and do Serve the Crown. And... Um, so... This stuff right here will help, especially... Um, we get attacked right so i do need that stuff i could get attacked really at any time all right so i haven't quite restored all the way a little bit more needs to happen ema court my spy master has come to me with grave news while we do not yet know it someone is planning to kill my wife that is rude war is declared oh it's just this guy again though like is 920 men wow okay well that's pretty dumb uh my romance as a as of late, all of my visits to Vergislava have been ruined by my champion, Alexander. Um, a duel will prove he is worthy. Um, I'm just going to pick okay. Like, it just not worth it, right? I mean, not really. Um, so let's... Oh, fight this. Gain 290 men or a personal guard. Prowess plus. I'll take the prowess. Attack this guy. The yard house. While attending to yard house business, my thoughts drifted from legal matters of the herd to mundane matters of the home. I must have lost track of the time while squatting in, in the guard house because after whopping my underside with wool, 
I realized I could no longer feel my legs. The numbness is so great that I fear if I try and stand on my own, I could fall in it. I mean, what was I doing? Like, sc scrolling Gestergram? Very bad joke, and you're welcome. Uh, where are all my thralls? Help! I can do this if I just lean. Did I get wounded? <laughs> I wounded myself! Oh my god, I'm so dumb. Alright, well, we won that because he attacked us and we got him because he's dumb. Um... What's also nice about that, I can't quite do this yet, but I can go ahead and build four camps here. Go ahead and start that. And prisoner wise, uh, nothing really going on here, so we'll. He's already got suture. I like that we've re caught that guy. Pretty sure we had caught him before and pushed us all over the screen about that um so these are my unmarried courtiers so let's find him wife again we need all of these guys reproduce very very important oh so, don't really care who right i want them to be young because the nice thing about them being young too is if these guys if they're older which omar and they die I then have their wives, right? I then have like, the... help me out. Um, so I still have 394. So I've only lost six of these guys. Oh, okay. Let's go ahead and take. Um, Dazen. These guys are not strong. So let's go ahead and hit. We're going to be wrapping up pretty soon on our first video. Um, I just want to get another quick thing of money. This is going to be over really fast. Let's set this down. Uh, we got another doll. We're going to give it to... Um, and... Again, just wipe in the floor with these guys. I'm surprised they're even fighting us, to be honest. Seems like a bad... Bad choice. That's what they want to do. This um, raiding, though, and building up our coffer is really important. And Unfortunately, in the beginning, it takes so much time, mostly just because of you, you just can't carry that much. So you have to just do it so much until you kind of are snow. All right, so Verkoslava, who is 41. Yeah, that romancing uh, is helping out, I guess. So you have been so brave, so strong. Words cannot describe my love for you. And now we have a perfect little daughter. Um, so she's von Hildur, that's fine. Another doll. See, now we can get 81, which is nice. Um, fire and blood again. So again, every time this happens, we're gonna get we're gonna get loot and we're going to get so we're gonna go ahead and do a man's home in case they attack us when we're out. And how strong are these guys? These guys are pretty strong. For these guys. So let's go ahead. Nothing really left over here. Um, I can't. yeah, because we because we can come down the river. So let's go ahead and it's already been. Of course, yeah. Um, go ahead and drop this back off. Where are we at military wise? Oh, someone has killed me. Prince Tornick killed me. You've got to be kidding me. Oh. Well, that's a way to end, isn't it? I'm joining the duck at my feast when I suddenly feel my throat swell and my limbs growing slow. I can feel... Um... Well, I'm a seven-year-old. That is not good. Um, Shadows of Fame. There are whispers about the tales and deeds of my father, disgraced your all, half Thor. Where I go, near, near or far, it seems nobody who has not heard his... I wonder, will I always stay in the shadow of my father, or will I be able to... Much fame in my life as him. How high will I be able to... One day I will be like you, named Shadow of Fame, the Rusty Fire Stress Gang. I'm just glad to have a fame. Um, right, I'm all I am right now is rowdy. Ooh, that is that is rough. Um, Guardian need. Well, it's gonna be this guy, which is great. Let's become best friends. Um, unfortunately, people don't really like me. Ugh. Um, going to. all these guys 
<laughs> I need these guys to like me. Ugh, nothing like spinning your gold right off the bat, right? Um, should be my mother. It is, so that's good. Selfless. He is situation. So I will have to make sure I keep power. Um, my brother unfortunately took that one, which I can't have. Wait, why can't I take power back? I am a little confused. Why you? Oh, because my armies are raised. Let's get the armies. He is not independent, the liege, or under the same. I should just. But I have a claim on his land. Why not? I don't have a claim on the land? That is very interesting. Um, can't revoke the title because I don't have high tribal authority. And I can't get my high tribal authority because I'm missing And war has been declared yet again. Well, the good thing is, is I still have all of these guys. So let's start off this war with my very strong military. We still wipe them out. We're just so strong. Um, and go ahead and this. I can't believe I got killed so fast. I did not expect that to happen. I guess that's what happens when you just um, subsidize liege authority. Greetings, son. My liege, I have some proposals for tightening up the crown's authority in the realm. All I need is your seal. I get high, limited tribal authority, and likes that. All right, that's fine. That helps me get that higher level 40. Oh, no. still can't do it. It's weird because I, I guess I don't have. So if I want an alliance. I ever cake. Just two years left on this, so I can fabricate the claim and take it later. That's what I'm gonna do. I'll, I'll just take it from him later. I've got to get it back. I can't split our father's land like that. I mean, I guess I could build up, but it's just not worth it, right? Like, I've got to have all my land. It it does stink, but the way that worked, but I can't, can't do that. Back this guy, should win quickly again. Did, and that's... So at least we started right off with... Victory. My mother is dying. Oh, that guy's killing us all. That is not good. Um, so he's self interest. That is. Uh, all I have is gold. I've, I've got to keep these swamp the right way. Um. Well, we are not in a great place, guys. So, end of episode one, everything was going swimmingly. And now my brother is over here. We, at least this did go to Norse cult. Go ahead and have him start molding our culture over here. As soon as she's done, I'm going to have to claim my brother's title. I don't know why I don't have the claim on it, but I don't. Um, I think it's because, like, of the election stuff, right? Because... He does have claims on everything else. There are press claims. That sucks. Um, this guy, right, is killing everyone in my family. I kind of think take land off him. And I guess we could also, like, Varangian against him. We don't have enough. We're not distinguished, but, and just take this whole duchy. Leave ours behind because we could come back and get it. That might be a thing to do. Um, I don't think we can kill him, right? Because we're not 14. So hopefully he's not going to murder us. Uh, hopefully she can help out and keep that from happening. I don't know if she's good enough. Um, oh man, that is just, how good is his, 
I don't know. I can't see. All right. Well, 45 minutes in. Not a bad first episode. We definitely are not where we wanted to be. Um, go ahead and we'll make our brother our heir. That's fine. We're gonna need to get married eventually. Um, this just isn't isn't excellent. I'm not gonna lie. This just is not uh, not very not very good. So, um, all these folks are long ways off. Well, he's there. He's right. These are Norse. Uh, so that's not bad. Um, and he's got 2,500. Actually, that's... That's pretty good. Um, I'm 8. He's 7. He is strong. Her sister is quick. Ooh, so both of these are pretty nice. Um, strong and quick. Yes. She is going to be my wife. That is going to make us very strong. Very nice. So, he is now our ally. And he is Norse. That is really actually useful. So, we have now allied. This is a little better position. We are allied. Our brother, unfortunately, did take this land. We're going we're gonna to have to get that back. We just can't not. 16 months, we'll shoot her over to getting us a claim on his land and taking it. Hopefully, I can keep him at court. Um, he's not going to like me taking his land, but that's just where we're at. I mean, our dad was murdered um, <laughs> after raiding this guy over and over. I guess he got what was coming to him. That's unfortunate. He is a murderer. He is wounded. Hopefully, but he's feeling fine. Um, hopefully he stops killing us now. Um, I don't think he will, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, well, thank you for coming to our first episode, and I... Look forward to continuing this adventure with all of you. Thanks, and see you soon.